Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's presentation on the AMO technology. Uh, I'm Lee McClellan, and our research findings have indicated an absolute advantages of the AMO technology over the traditional LCD display technology. And we strongly believe that given such uh, an absolute advantages on the AMO lab, the AMO technology could completely replace the LCD display technology in the following 5 to 10 years. So in today's presentation, we will share more information from our findings as well as our insight. So here is the flow of today's presentation. First, uh, Chris will uh, go through the details of the M1 technology, and then Darren will talk about the market of the OLED display. And finally, I will mainly cover the future applications as well as the economics of the M1 uh, technology. So Chris, let's start. Yeah, thank you very much. So let's have a look on what's OLED technology. Well, it stands for the Organic Light Emitting Dryer. Uh, its main technology uses the organic materials to convert electric energy into light reflect on the screen of the television or the mobile handset. Well, it has five main distinctive characteristics which are better than that of LCD monitors, which we will, that's why we recommend all that technology to all of you. Firstly, it has greater viewing angles. That means the audience can view the screen or the TV set uh, from a narrow Wielding angles, even without any um, affecting the qualities. Secondly, it will use less power uh, when we turn on the television or the handset. And most importantly, it is much thinner than that of LCD monitor, and we will talk about why later. And it uses more electrical light, and we have statistics later on. And finally, it has better display quality overall. So, why the OLED technology is much thinner than that of the LCD panel is because it's only made up of three uh, elements, that is the TFT array, screen, and the driver integrated circuit. Um, but that of LCD monitors has six of them, six modules uh, com combining the LCD monitor. That's why it is much thinner. And why it's much faster? Because of the main characteristics of it has no physical stretch to reflect the light onto the, the screen by the OLED technology. But that of LCD monitor needs time to reflect the physical stretch. And that's why it has more processing power, and that's why it, is fa it has faster response rate. And we can see here, the power consumption of OLED technology is 50% less than that of LCD monitor. And Reflected by the CRI ratio, that's the ratio of natural light, OLED technology has the highest rate of that ratio. That reflect uh, <coughs> it uses more natural light, and that's why audience eyes will not be so tired after watching long hours of uh, the devices. And that's the developing history of OLED technology. The most important one is that in 1970, it was first developed by Eastman Holder Company, and in 2000, there was a Nobel, Nobel Prize gift for chemistry given on the uh, invention of the conductive polymers, which is very important to the uh, invention of all that And why is related to our course, uh, electronic engineering? That is because mainly because of the invention of transistors. Without transistors, all the electronic devices will not work and especially for such a advanced, sophisticated TV technology. And secondly, it, the digital broadcasting really improves the quality of video processing in the nowadays world, in, especially in the business, business sector. And right now, let's have Darren to talk about this. Thank you, Chris. So in the coming part, I'm going to talk more about the market of OLED, eminent, that is and then more about the limitation of that, this technology and the key players in this market. So because for the OLED or AMOLED display, there's a small size of the display screen and there's a flexible and moldable display characteristic together with the five distinctive features that Chris have just mentioned before. Nowadays, OLED display is hugely implemented in the small size electronic devices such as MP3 players, digital camera or mobile phones. And when it comes to the market of OLED, well, Samsung 
is definitely the market leader. Samsung started production of OLED display in the year 2007. And with regard to this graph, Samsung represented by the blue chart compared to those uh, represented by the other chart, which is the other players. For the other players, they hugely focus on the small size of the OLED display. While for Samsung, it is going to put more resources on the medium and the large size of OLED display. Moreover, Samsung in the year 2009 started mass production of OLED display, and it is the only exporter that could export a huge amount of OLED display to third party and outsiders. So in terms of the market leadership, product diversity, history, export, and panel capability, Samsung is the market leader. And because AMOLED or OLED display is very light in weight, it consumes less power with a fast response rate. It is hugely uh, applied in the electronic devices. But the problem is, uh, for the AMOLED or OLED display, nowadays, due to some technical problem, it is still difficult to scale up the size of this display. So when we can only produce the OLED display in the size of generation four, which is rather small compared to the standard size of an LCD panel, which require a generation eight. On the other hand, Samsung, the market leader, in the year 2009 also carried out a campaign to promote this latest technology, AMOLED, by inviting um, the popular singers to have a featured song, namely AMOLED. And come back to our limitation of OLED. Actually, the problem is when we are going to scale up the size of this display, the gravity would bend 